Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be updating you guys on everything that has happened so far. The last time I posted was two months ago, and it's been a while and a lot of things have happened since then. If you didn't see the video yet, I turned this tank right here into a turtle tank. It used to be my 20 gallon planted beta tank, but that beta died, and I really wanted to get a baby turtle, so that's what I got. There is my baby turtle, it is a red ear slider, I don't know if it's a boy or girl. It's really cool. I really like it and It's just a really cool turtle. It's really small. It's a baby and it's really awesome So that's the first thing that happened after I turned this tank into a turtle tank But then I had that turtle for around like two weeks or so and then I went to the pet store and I bought some I had clawed crabs as you can see right there and I also bought some ghost shrimp as you can see right there the red clawed crabs this one usually stays over here, and then the other one, it hides on the other side of the filter. Oh, as you guys can see, here's the crab right here, the red clawed crab. Here's the tank, and then, you see this little crack right there? There's the other crab. It always hides back there, I have no idea why. I bought two crabs and three ghost shrimp. The ghost shrimp, they like to hide in the filter. They go in there, but they come back out. It doesn't kill them or anything, they just go in there. I don't know why, probably because they go through the holes, the filter holes, as you can see there's an arrow pointing to it, but I didn't just buy the crabs and shrimp, I also bought fancy guppies. I put the guppies in the tank too, but the f I bought three female guppies and one male. One of the females, it was pregnant and it was swimming slower and the turtle bit the tail off and I came home and the guppy was dead. So. That was my first guppy death. Then, another, uh, what is it called? Another female guppy? It was killed by the crab. The crab got it. And I could tell that it was, like, swimming slower, and it was, like, swimming on the bottom, so it was easier for the crab to get. So, that was my second crab that died. I mean, not crab, guppy. And then, I had... One male left and one female. For some reason, the male started losing its color. It was a really cool one, too. And I was... I had no idea why I was doing that. Something must have been wrong. Maybe the water quality or something. And that one died, and it, too, got eaten by the crabs. So then I had one female left. I put it in here. It was active. It ate. It, it didn't die. It, it showed no signs of sicknesses or anything. It was just active. And it, it didn't die. Nothing got it. It was fast and nothing got it. And it, um, it's still alive, actually. But I had plants in here, two fake artificial plants. And I put them in there so then when the guppies were born, they would hide in them. But after I saw that most of the guppies got killed, I didn't want to risk it. So I took out the two plants and my one female guppy and put it in a 10-gallon tank which I'll show you guys in a bit, because I didn't want the turtle to eat it, as you can see its head is sticking out right there. I didn't want the crabs to eat it, so I just put it in a different tank, and it's still alive. It's been doing good, so I'll show you guys it right now. So this is my one female guppy I have left. It, she is pregnant, I can see it. Her belly is really big. And these were the plants that were in the turtle tank. And I took them out and put them in here so the guppies could hide in them while they're when they're born. And I also have that thing right there, the net. I'm probably just going to put the female in there so when she has the babies, they're all in there and just take her out so she doesn't eat any. But this is the 10 gallon I have for her right here. It has a heater right there, a sponge filter. And if you're wondering what this thing is right here, it's a aquarium thermometer. It used to be in my turtle tank, but that one, that temperature stays pretty... Mm, stable all the time it's usually around 78 or 80 so I didn't really need a thermometer but I wanted to check this I wanted it in here so I could check the temperature because I wasn't sure about that heater if it was good or not but so far so good it's stayed around 80 degrees so happy about that so that's my one guppy I have left this is what I feed my guppies well, it used to be guppies, now it's just guppy. This is what I feed the guppy. And then the turtle, today I'm going to feed bloodworms. I feed a variety of food for the turtle, but uh, today I'm just going to do bloodworms. So I'm first going to feed the turtle. 
feed it some blood worms. So I just open up the lid right here and I dump a few. Yeah. So I just dumped in the blood worms and the turtles right there and just needs to see the blood worms up oh. sees it now it's munching baby turtles really like blood worms I don't know why but I'm guessing because they're filled with protein the turtle really likes it and then some sink down and the shrimp get it and some of the crabs so it's just a good food for this tank and I feed it often for the guppy I feed it these omega-1 freshwater flakes they have really good ingredients and it's fairly cheap so I really like this food and I'll probably be feeding it feeding all my tropical fish this food so I just grab a tiny bit and put it in and this one really likes food I don't know why it just destroys it something funny is that my turtle used to eat these freshwater flakes all the time because I had guppies in there so I would drop some in there and they, it would always eat these flakes so I sometimes drop a little bit in there for them too because it has really good ingredients and it munches on them as some of you may know if you watched um, my previous turtle videos I bought this food for my turtle I've never actually seen him eat one or it I don't know if it's a boy or girl um, I've seen it nibble at it. I've never really seen it eat one. The guppy ate one when it was still in here. I dropped one in and my guppies, they ate a whole thing. They just slurped it up. So at the end of the video, I just wanted to update you guys on everything and show you where everything is. So I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Peace.